Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our diploma ceremony for Section B of Harvard Business School's class of 2021. My name is Ted Burke, and I've had the honor of serving as section chair for this extraordinary group since they arrived on campus nearly two years ago. Welcome to all of the graduates and to your family, friends, and everyone who is celebrating with you today. Before I start, let me thank Annie and Caleb for your thought-provoking and inspiring words at class day this morning. The entire Section B family is so proud of you both. Now, this is the last part of our day. And in my opinion, it's the most fun as we get to recognize each and every one of you for your achievements as you graduate. Now, as I always do, I considered who in the section could kick things off for our discussion today. I thought we should turn for advice and perspective to someone in the section who has done this graduating thing before. It just so happens that this MBA is actually the fourth advanced degree for both Sophia and Zach. So perhaps we ought to start with them. However, then I realized we actually have members of the section celebrating birthdays this week. Perhaps we should turn to Igor, Caleb, Sam, Maria Luisa, or Nathan. Happy birthday, our gift to you. Shouldn't it be one last cold call before you leave? Nathan's looking really nervous. And no, today is the rare day at HBS where it's the faculty rather than the students who do the talking. It's actually my job today to go back to the beginning, to set the context for the next eight minutes or so, and then we'll get to the fun part of celebrating each of you. We all first met back in August of 2019. You walked into Aldrich 110 as strangers, gathered together from all around the world with a wide range of backgrounds, experiences, perspectives, and personalities. You came to HBS from at least 29 different countries, speaking 23 different languages, and believe it or not, you had worked at 249 different companies in your combined 451 years of work experience. An extraordinary set of individuals before you even met one another. As I recall, you assembled a jigsaw puzzle to reveal the magical letter B. We very briefly introduced ourselves to one another, and then we launched into our first case discussion. You were off and running, not just as individuals, but as a team, and the magic of this section B began to unfold. Of course, many aspects of these two years didn't unfold the way anyone expected. On that first day when we talked about the Lance Armstrong case, most of us had never heard of Zoom or a coronavirus. Yet here we are two years later with a huge amount to celebrate today. Graduating from HBS is a big deal, a significant achievement. And I hope you will make time and space to savor this milestone. To help with that, I thought I should take a crack over the next few minutes at two of my favorite questions, questions that you've heard me ask over and over again in the classroom and in office hours, questions that I thought should be answered about this graduation ceremony. Why and so what? So why do we do this? Today, we are celebrating everything that got you to and through HBS and will bring you continued success as graduates from literally all around the world, across generations. We are joining together today to celebrate you, Section B. So I'd like to propose we celebrate at least two things about each of you, the power of your education and the power of your extended families. First, the power of education. You chose to come here, to leave your careers, your friends, your families, and you dedicated two years of your life to self-improvement, both in and outside of the classroom. You worked hard on your cases, of course, on payoff diagrams and DCFs and more DCFs, and maybe a few other things too. But let's be honest, the learning went way beyond what any professor wrote on the board. You learned from each other's perspectives on complex and thorny problems in the world. You learned from reflecting on important life choices and sharing your thinking with friends. You learned over a meal or a bottle of wine, 
or a white claw, whatever that is, with some of the most interesting, thoughtful, creative, and dynamic leaders of your generation. But remember, this today is far from the end of learning. As I've mentioned to you before, to always be learning has been an incredibly satisfying guiding principle throughout my career so far, and for many others as well, and I'm sure it will be the same for you. This degree you received today may be the capstone of your formal classroom education, and we celebrate not only what you've learned, but also how much more learning you all have ahead of you. In fact, as we celebrate your education, we are really celebrating your potential to learn and adapt as the world evolves before your eyes, to bring much needed change to your organizations, your industries, your communities, and make them better. Second, alongside the power of education, we also celebrate the power of families today. They are here to celebrate you and to celebrate with you. Your journey here, right up to your arrival at HBS, can be traced to the tremendous support and sacrifice of your families. So on this day, we acknowledge everything family has done for you and what it means to you. We'll have an opportunity to thank them more a little later on in our ceremony. But today we actually celebrate two families, not only the one you grew up in, but also the one you built these last two years as Section B. After you were thrown together two years ago, you set lofty goals for the type of community you wanted to build, a kind, caring Section B family that was supportive and collaborative and fun and thought provoking. You learned to appreciate your differences, work through your disagreements to support and be there for each other, to challenge each other, to laugh together. Like the family you grew up in, it is far from perfect. And maybe there is a crazy uncle or two somewhere in section D. And like the family you grew up in, this is also a family you will take with you for life. Which brings us more to the so what of today. While today marks an incredibly important milestone, it's also the beginning of a journey that you will all continue taking together. You've heard me say before how much I hope you will each define your own path, climb your own mountain. But if you've learned nothing else over these two years, I hope you've recognized that you cannot do it alone. On your journey, I hope you'll continue to rely on your two families, both the one you started with and the one that you've chosen to build for advice, for support, for some frank criticism when you need it, and for cheerleading whenever you need that too. Looking ahead, you all will lead us through times that will be full of unexpected challenges, events that are sometimes out of your control, just like in these last two years. And that will require all the energy, creativity, skill, and resilience that I've seen on full display in Section B these last two years to solve big problems, to build and rebuild trust, to repeatedly find a way to make lemonade out of lemons, not simply resign yourself to the world as it is. I remember so clearly joining you in Aldrich the day we learned FGI had been canceled. Remember that day? We had so many questions and no answers. We knew so little about what the next year would hold. And while the experience may not have been quite what we all expected when we began this journey, I believe you are now much better equipped, certainly compared to my own class 20 years ago and probably than any other class in recent memory, better equipped for the road that lies ahead. It's been an inspiration to see each of you rise to this occasion, to make the most of your time here, to harness the opportunity and the power of your education and of your extended families. This pandemic has laid bare the many challenges facing our society and the role of business in either exacerbating or solving them. And I'm excited and grateful that we can look to this group to help define and lead us into that future. It's been a privilege for me to learn alongside you about business, about resilience in the face of unprecedented challenge, about determination, about optimism. To witness the power of your ongoing educations and the power of your families and the power of each of you. I'm excited for your futures. Thank you for your leadership to come. We now turn, thank you. We now turn to the more formal part of our ceremony, 
with some introductory words from Professor Jan Rifkin, chair of the MBA program. Let's go to the video. Congratulations again to the class of 2021. You are now officially HPS graduates. You know, graduation day is my favorite day of the year. I love seeing our students so happy. I love seeing their families and friends so rightly proud of their graduates and so excited about their bright futures. And we now come to my favorite part of my favorite day of the year, the diploma ceremony, where we recognize each and every member of your section. As members of the class of 2021 are recognized, you'll hear mention of three kinds of honors. The first is distinction. This is for students who earned academic honors in both the first year and the second year of our program. The second is high distinction. These individuals not only earned honors in the first year and the second year, they also had combined academic performance that placed them in the top 5% of their class as a whole. These students were also known as George F. Baker scholars, commemorating the individual whose generosity in the 1920s allowed us to build the campus. I invite you to look at the Baker Scholars page on the graduation website to learn more about the legacy of George Baker and this particular distinction. Third and last, but by no means least, the Dean's Award. The Dean's Award celebrates the extraordinary achievements of graduating students who during their time at HBS made distinctive contributions to Harvard, to Harvard Business School, or the broader community. These students have contributed to the well-being of others through amazing acts of leadership. Students and all members of the community nominate these individuals, and then Dean Dattar makes the final selection. So please enjoy the diploma ceremony. Celebrate each and every member of your session. I hope that your session will remain close through the years as mine has, and I hope that these two years at HBS will be just the beginning of an ongoing conversation among you as you enjoy long, happy years of making differences that are meaningful to you and meaningful for the world. Be well and stay close. Thank you, Jan. In this next part of our ceremony, we will celebrate the hard work dedication and achievement of the individual members of Section B as you graduate. Now, let me invite everyone to cheer and congratulate each of your colleagues. And as you hear their names and see their photos, I'd encourage you to take a moment to think and remember, how did this section mate make an impact on you, large or small, on what you learned or experienced while you were here, and who you are as you leave this place? Let's now turn to each graduate of Section B. Nadia Ahmed. Kays Alarakia. Sophia Almeida. Kiko Al Sabah. Kate Aufhauser. Hilton Augustine. Jimmy Aylward. Farah Osmi. Tomas Barbosa. Lily Beard, High Distinction. Emily Bennett. Miguel Bernal. Kyle Betts. K. 
Caleb Bradford. Stephen Breeden. Christina Bird. E. Kai. Isabella Carbonell Pares. Igor Shami. Suhail Shte. Dahe Choi. Chris Corcoran. Shaina Dial. Melanie Diaz, High Distinction. Liz Doyle. Maria Luisa Echandi. Aaron Gann. Corey Gottfriedson. John Harry. Zachary Hermes. Neil Howell. Misha Yukovich. Jothi Kanapin, Distinction. Pravesh Kocher. Rahul Lakwani. Joseph Lee. Dan Lee. We Dong Lao. Julian Lishain. John Liss. Dana Louie, High Distinction. Zoe Loveman. Lucas Lukoshek. John Ma. George Matrai. Tabo Mavunla. Anna Mayer. Olivia Metcalf. Alyssa Miller. Sam Miller.
Abed Moiduddin. Ryan Nahas. Zipora Nyokangi. Nikki Okra. Zoe Otodola. Bradley Otto. Adam Pillay, Distinction. Yufern Pan, High Distinction. Chris Perez. Nicholas Pika. Annie Plukta. Anne Pongmanavut. Rusher Pope. Elizabeth Powers. Tom Probelski, Distinction. Nicolas Putelnik. Isabel Rios. Alina Rodriguez, Dean's Award recipient. Matt Scott. Jawad Shujatali, Distinction. Jonathan Smith. Taylor Smith. Kumal Solanki. Umang Sota. Giacomo Stefani. Kohei Takatsuka. Tanya Tamer. Sharuk Takir. Nathan Verity, Distinction. Emil Velchev. Dara Vung. Eric Westfall, High Distinction. Sydney Williams. Daniel Yamada. Andrew Yasa. Anthony Yim. Kathy Yu.
Joyce Jung. Shenji Zhu. Congratulations, Section B. This is only the start for you. And I know we'll be hearing great things about this group for many years to come. Thank you for letting me share in this experience with you, not just today, but throughout these two years. Please keep in touch, drop me a note from time to time, and don't hesitate to reach out whenever I can be helpful in any way on your road ahead. Now, I promised earlier that there would be a bit more for your families and friends who have supported you throughout. Let's first make sure those folks can actually see you at this moment. So we're gonna bring up the gallery view for them all to see on the live stream. So I ask that you wave a big hello for say the next 60 seconds or so and keep waving to thank all of your supporters who are on the live stream. So right now, They'll be seeing all the tiles of all of you. Uh, they'll see the first group for about uh, 20, 25 more seconds, and they'll see the other half in just a moment. So a big wave, a big thank you to all of your supporters. Keep waving so they can all find you. We're into the second group of you now. There are literally people all over the world cheering for all of you. So to close our gathering, we have one final thing to do. Uh, you all, the Section B graduates, and I can now call you graduates, have assembled a montage of photos to recognize and thank their families, friends, and loved ones who supported them before, during, and after HBS. In fact, for the way I know all of you as individuals and as a group, it is only fitting that your first act together as the newest alumni of Harvard Business School is to thank these incredibly important people. Congratulations once again, Section B. Best wishes to all of you. Let's roll the montage.
brings our festivities to a close for today. Congratulations again. Be in touch. And I look forward to getting together again very soon. Be well. <laughs>